here. Clearly, you recognize what this is. This is a field, right? just in case you're confused. This is a mouse. Okay? Now, this mouse was made for me by my daughter. And you think, oh, well, that's very cute. You know, you probably assume my daughter's about six years old. I have to tell you my daughter is 24. Um, but she made this mouse for me. I'm now going to put it on the field. And, you know, the mouse, to humans, is pretty well counted against that field. So what's going to happen now, and I, yeah, yeah, we need to be near the light, really, don't we? So this mouse is now going to go for a pee. Okay, so here I am. I'm about to pee. Can my lovely assistant come along? I hope that. Oh, oh, lovely. Okay, so the mouse goes for a pee. Okay, so now, you just want to hold it up, maybe? Okay, so my mouse has gone for a pee. And maybe you can see a bit, but you can't see very much. But now I'm going to simulate Kestrel UV vision for you. Okay. So what's going to happen? I hope this will work, even this low light. The Kestrel comes along, and when he comes along the UV, you can see when he comes along the urine, you can see that the urine is really starting to go up. So what the Kestrel would see would be very bright light. You can maybe see that here. Um, there, the urine has gone onto the tissue. And you can see that it really, really lights up in the ultraviolet. So, Kestrels will really be able to hunt field mice very 